Here we go. Let's feed these fish. <laughs> She's so big, it's insane. Snails, 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 snails. All sorts of snails. We got snails for the tank. All right, bud, here we go. First one going down. What is going on, Kafiros? Welcome back to another video here. Today, I am actually in a really good mood. I'm actually super hyped right now. I've got a lot to do. It is the afternoon. We just got back from ICAST, and everything at home is doing well. Nick actually took care of all the fish while I was gone. Nick is a great buddy of mine. He is actually passed out in the guest room right now. Out cold. Still working on finding where the slight leak is, and I think I found it. it is in one of these pipes right here. I just got to redo them because the water has not dropped whatsoever ever since I have turned that pump off. These obviously are just guppies, so they are fine living without any flow, really. As you can tell, colors are absolutely amazing on these fish. And that is just the beginning of those. I believe there is 10 in there. Update on the backyard. Everything is going well. All the fish still making babies, growing like crazy. In fact, here we go. Let's feed these fish. They're just going nuts right now, looking for food, so. Boom. There's that. And, uh... Like usual, they just go crazy. I mean, they grow, and here comes a swarm pouring from all different corners. There's our baby koi, getting big, bigger at least. You can see them right there. A little tan one, swimming around. Baby koi fish, freaking beyond fast. Barely can get a good glimpse of him, but he's growing, and he's eating very well. Now the big pond, as you can tell, everything is out right now. Red tail is down there, two pakus are out. The gar is down there on the bottom, and there is thump, big old thump. But enough about the two ponds y'all have already seen multiple times. Let's show you the pool pond that we actually finished last video. Remember I said it was going to be clear? Uh, it's, it's much more than just clear. Look at this. First of all, we got our filter. Everything is hidden. And then crystal, crystal clear water on the whole entire thing. We got a little pump pushing back there. There's our filtration. We are officially done with the pool pond itself. From a far view, it's looking good. But I got a big question for every single one of you watching. Comment down below what species, what fish should we get for the pool pond? I have a lot of fish already. I got like five or six tanks inside with a lot of different species, which you'll see in just a second. And obviously the three things I just showed you in the backyard. So with that being said, comment down below what fish we should get next for this pool pond right now. I'll give you a second to do so. Hopefully you can scroll down and type something by that time. I don't want to bore you, but I'm going to head inside right now and actually show you guys what we're doing today. Here's the test. we got to find the pig. The little piglet is somewhere in here. She loves to hide. She might have jumped down because this is open. This is up. Oh, hi. Hi, Lulu. What is that? Mulch? <laughs> She's so big. It's insane. She's getting so, so big. She'll come to the... She'll come to the camera thinking it's food, watch. See? Always, you're a food monster. Obviously, you've seen our tank, Big Paku, etc. You've seen George, George the Flower Horn, and now this tank. There's been a lot going on on this channel with this tank lately. It's probably because I'm trying to get it all done. And today, I just want to add something little onto it. Now, I've been making videos lately. We got turtles for the pond, and we got crabs for my pond. Both those videos, Everyone loves. People love those videos. So with that being said, I thought, snails. Snails. So without further ado, let me throw it to the pet store where we picked up our new three mystery albino snails. We are now here at Pet Supermarket. Uh, I come here often, very often actually. Most of the people that work here know me. If you've ever wondered what a $28.99, meaning $29 beta fish plus tax, probably 30, looks like, that's a $30 beta fish right there. Koi male beta. Absolutely insane. And we've got a lot of fish. Lots of fish to show you. And with fish comes the... Snails. Snails, snails, snails. All sorts of snails. Got some tiger barbs over here. Already have these in the 90 gallon up here. Garamis, not the biggest fan of these fish, but they do have them here. Right there is probably one of the biggest guppies I have ever seen in my life. Um, very, very big. Look at it compared to a normal one behind it. Uh, there's a bunch of those which we will be getting for the patio bowl eventually. And then over here, my favorite species of fish beyond anything else, the platy right there, the bomb. We have about uh, 400 of those things in the mini pond right now. I'm not even joking you. Include babies, there's, there's a ton. And most pet stores have just 
lots and lots and lots of those. So this place is pretty loaded. Look at that goldfish. Anyway, I'm going to stop showing you guys the fish that pretty much every pet store does have. And uh, let's get some snails. You have narrate snails, you have limpets, so you have different types that you can use in fresh water. Awesome. Name all three, comment down below. What are these snails' names? You have a wonderful day. You Thank you as so well. Much for Not a problem. Alrighty. Another successful day at a pet supermarket. Donated to dogs, got our snails, and we are headed out. Uh, Let's so put these hot. things. Yeah, it is very hot. I asked the guy what the purpose of these snails were, and he said they literally just sit there. So this should this should be perfect. Other ones that help with allergy growth. Back home with our snails now, and you can see the snail itself is actually orange. That is so insane. They look dead because they just sit there upside down, and uh, since I bought them, they've actually all connected inside the bag. Do what I do just like I do with fish. Put the bag inside the tank. Now, I don't know if you gotta do that with snails. I'm not the snail guy, I've never bought snails. This is actually my first purchase on snails. Although lots of snails have grown in Luna's tank. By the way, there's Luna chilling in the back there, coming to the camera, and her tank is doing awesome. This is probably one of my favorite little tanks. Oh, by the way, hi, Greg. And I'm gonna start doing a lot more betta fish videos here in the... She's got an itch. In the future is what I was gonna say. Let me show you something. Do you remember when I left for iCast? There was probably this much of this plant on top of the water. What I like to call cat tongue because it looks just like a cat tongue. Now look at it. It is absolutely invaded, like completely filled the whole top of the tank, which then makes this bottom of it really dark. So without further ado, let me get a lot of this out. It grows so fast that I'm removing it out of my fish tank. I was told it was gonna do this, so I was aware. And I actually wanted to do this because this right here is going into the mini pond. All of that will make its way up to the surface, just like I said before, and it'll meet with all the others over there. My plan is to have this pond pretty much filled where there's just a selection of open parts. And I say that because it gets really, really hot here in Florida. And with the sun beating down on this pond, having that shade, at least during the summer months, from these plants, will allow the water to be a little bit cooler than it would during the winter. Obviously, I'm guessing some of these are gonna die off, if not all of them. And we can also, like I said, just remove them. It's that easy, you take a handful, and you put them in the trash, you put them wherever you may wanna put them. Now look at the tank. It actually has some light, and I took a decent amount out, so there's only about that much left. Nero, show them your bandana. I got this thing with the donation that I gave the dogs, but Nero, come here. But look at him, he looks good. For real. That actually looks really good on the brindle color. Okay, it is time to add the new addition to our tank. What I like to call our three mystery, oh, one stuck to the side, our three mystery snails. Now all three of our snails are right here. I'm gonna grab them all. One, two, and three. As you can tell, this is really, really cool. Like I said, we got these in, in actually this size at the pet store, so that's also a cool thing. I've just never owned snails, never purchased snails, and um, I'm excited, so let's get these into the tank. All right, here's our three snails, our mystery snails going in. I'm gonna actually set all right, bud, here we go. First one going down. There it goes. Oh, I missed, there it goes. It's right there in the sand. Here's the second one going in. Snail. So we got snail number one and number two. One is on the spider wood, one is on the sand. Let's see if I can get this one to go on the glass. Come on. Suck on I there. I don't think they even come out. They feel so scared. But they will definitely be out within the next few hours. They started to come out inside the bag. I'm gonna release the next one right there. That's enough of that. We got our three snails, I can tell. One, two, and three. And we are gonna wait about two hours. We're gonna give it two hours to where they start maybe even coming out, showing their little stick eyeballs, walking around, I should say slugging around. <laughs> We're gonna show them actually making their way around this 90 gallon tank with all their little buddies in here. Two hours later. Alrighty, current update on our snails. One is right there, kind of like buried in the sand, and then another one's like halfway tipped over, right against the glass right here, and the third one, um, I don't even know where it is. There's that. 
right there. And the third one is actually upside down. Looks like he almost like fell off where I put him. Upside down, right there inside the, the inside the spider wood. So I'll have to tip him possibly back over. But anyway, we got snails for the 90 gallon aquarium. If you did enjoy this video, please do me a favor and hit that like button. Let's see how many likes we can get on this video. Lately, all my videos have been getting pretty decent likes. Y'all are the best. With that being said, I'm going to bring on today's positive comment shout out. That going to Adams. Thanks, bro. I love your videos. You are so inspiring. So, appreciate that. And I appreciate everyone, of course, that comments down below something positive. If you did want the chance to win a positive comment shout out, all you got to do is drop a positive comment in the description down below. Like always. And you got a possibility at that. If you haven't done so already, I highly suggest you to become a Kefaro. Hit that subscribe button, join the family. Also, turn your post notifications on and you'll be notified every time I post.